Cigar Box Nation. It is time again for Cigar Box Nation TV. My name is Shane Spiel and uh, I've got a fun little lesson for you today. <laughs> Make sure you have a three-string cigar box guitar. This is just a simple slide cigar box guitar. Three strings tuned to open G, G, D, G. G, D, G. Hey, we want to thank our sponsors. Before I get into anything else, thank you to CBGiddy.com. CBGiddy.com, the coolest cigar box, guitar parts, guitars, you name it. It's all awesome there. Check them out this weekend. So... <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, baby. Now, we had a video go viral this week, and it was of a cigar box guitar guy. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. I should have written it down before I started this video, but I didn't. Oh well, it's Labor Day weekend, I'm thinking about Beer 30. So, he played ACDC's Thunderstruck on a three-string cigar box guitar. Now he did it fretting, like that. The thing is, I've been playing Thunderstruck, not the full song, but with my band, Shane Spiel's Snake Oil Band, we would go into extended jams, especially on our cover of Blind Willie Johnson's In My Time of Dying. Uh, Jesus make up my dying bed same song uh, but in the middle of the jam you know I would be doing and I throw it in there and fans go nuts so I wanted to show you I'm going to show you the basics, but I actually tabbed it out for you guys. So watch the video, learn on how I play it with a stubby slide. The stubby slide works best. A nice short slide just reaches over three strings. Um, that's what I use for everything is a stubby slide. But I tabbed everything out. Keep this bookmarked. Shanespiel.com slash Thunderstruck. Okay? That's where I put the tabs. It's just a simple tab. People, this isn't that hard. This whole song really isn't that hard. You just got to practice it. But let me play it for you a little bit slow, and I'm going to tell you what's going on. Are you ready? Now, first of all, notice the guitar has a lot of distortion on it. That is needed for this. The distortion adds the sustain, and you need the distortion on it to crank up the level and to squash, um, to compress the tone. You need that distortion on there for this to sound right because if not, it's it's like and it just doesn't sound right. So you gotta stick it here and Okay, so we've got the guitar, three strings, GDG, Thunderstruck. It starts out. Everything is this hammer on and pull off. Now I use it with a slide. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the slide. Because with the slide, it's easy. You're just, you're only playing this high string. You are not playing these two low strings at all. This whole song, ugh, this whole song could be done on a diddly bow. In fact, the tab over here, the tab is just for one single string. It's for the high G string. And uh, it starts out with this repeating pattern 
that you're hammering on at the fourth fret and the seventh fret but you're always in between those two hammer-ons you're letting that string go open so it's fourth to the seventh sit there and practice it slowly but I'm just hitting the slide I'm not smashing the slide against the neck, but I'm just going. The next part, move one fret up. Five, eight. Fifth fret, eighth fret. Go back to the four, seven. Four, seven. I'm not touching any of the other strings. So when you're strumming, don't strum all three strings. So because it sounds like a mess. No, you're going to practice on one single string. Pick only that string. This is why the stubby slide comes in. Because you don't have a big bulky slide that's going to be slamming everything else. Your biggest challenge is going to be the rhythm, the picking, where you're picking open, or it's where you're picking that four, and you're just getting your hands in sync. Digga, 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 digga. You know, and it's, if you have a drumming background, this will come easy. Uh, for those of you that are struggling with your rhythm, this song is an excellent teacher. Okay, the next part is that awesome rundown starting at the 12th fret that goes like this. I remember when ACDC came out with Thunderstruck and the first thing I thought of was a song I learned on one string. I think I was playing bass at the time and I was like 12 or 13 years old. And I was a huge fan of progressive rock. And the band Yes had a song called I've Seen All Good People. And in that song, there's a, a vocal rundown going, did it, 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 did it. And I learned that on the, on the bass, and it was. Well, whenever I heard the ACDC Thunderstruck, it was almost like he take, took almost the same notes and threw them on that crazy hammer on pull off. Now, for a video lesson, I could sit here and say 12, 10, 9, you know, everything like that. You're not going to follow along with that. All you need to know is follow the tab here. Go here, print out this tab, shanespiel.com slash thunderstruck, because it is the same simple hammer on pull-off. You start by hitting the 12th fret, and then you do the rundown. Learn the rundown. Go through the tab. I've got, it. I've got my laptop here, and it's like 12th fret, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, blah, blah, blah. Check out the tab. It's easier than me explaining it. But it people this is not hard this song is not hard for you to learn this is one that you should have fun with um and what i wanted to talk about is this song exemplifies my style of cigar box guitar soloing where if you've ever seen me in concert and you really paid attention, you will notice that probably 80% of my soloing is on the high string. As I'm soloing and as the band's going and I'm, I'm stomping on my foot stomper, um, I'm just hitting that high, high string and doing all my soloing. I've learned a few scales. I've learned them all up and down one lonely string. So as I'm scaling,
everything, just about everything I did on there was on one string. I played the blues scale up and down one string, just like Angus Young plays Thunderstruck on one string. <laughs> There's no voodoo to this. There's no special thing. Basically, the key is adding some distortion, you know, and getting that gain going and learning your scales up and down on one single string. Let me give you an example on, on the history of this. I'm not the first person to solo up and down on one string. Uh, neither was Angus Young. Because as I listen to Blind Willie Johnson and some of those guys that recorded in the 1920s, they recorded um, in open tunings, a lot of them. This one's in an open D. This is my Chinese dobro. I love this thing. It's eBay. Um, but I, they would tune their guitars in an open tuning and especially in the 1920s when slide was still young they would use a pocket knife and they would jam that pocket knife in their fingers it would be closed but they would use the metal of the pocket knife to play up and down on the high string now we um i have to link it we had a video on cigar box nation one time of lance mitz or uh oh what was it i forget the blues lance lipscomb Mance Lipscomb, I'm sorry, brain fart. Mance Lipscomb was uh, filmed in the 1960s, and he played slide guitar with a pocket knife or a slide. Now, I'm getting off subject. In the 1920s, they would play with a pocket knife in between their fingers and use it as a slide. Um, and that's just what they knew. They would hold it like this, and all they would do is play the high E string... You notice I'm playing everything on that high E string. And so it's that one string soloing that is very important. Uh, over at cbgiddy.com, we created a poster and it is blues scales. Um, and it, it's like all these fretboards that I drew with the blue scales that go the whole way up the neck, and then we added a couple exotic scales as well. The key to using that poster, hopefully somebody will link that. I don't know if anyone's working the comments today or not. But the key to using that poster is to practice one string. If you look, there's like three strings in, in, in the poster. Just pick one string and learn that scale where the dots are, and memorize where those dots are. <laughs> If you memorize your scales up and down one string, stop thinking of the old blues box where you play across. Learn to play up and down on one string. It's going to open up your soloing. Thunderstruck is just one song that you could learn, but th this will open up soloing to people that are afraid to solo. Um, oh, I forgot to say, this is uh, the Edge. This is a cool little guitar slide if you collect slides. It's called the Edge, and... Uh, it's a piece of brass milled to fit like an old pocket knife and it has a counterweight in the back and you just hold it like that. That's what I was using here. sell these at shanespill.com but you can probably find them elsewhere too that's the edge um let's get back to this let's talk acdc let's talk one string 
put on my stubby slide, get this going. <laughs> Let me talk about the guitar for a minute because this is another important lesson. If you're going to be doing the loud electric solos, um, guitars set up with piezo pickups don't work well for this. You want to build a cigar box guitar with a magnetic pickup. Uh, I want to give a shout out again to our sponsor, cbgiddy.com. Um, hold that up a little bit longer so you see cbgiddy.com. Uh, this is one of his soap bar p90 pickups these are great for rock stuff um, and uh, I also have this set up with one of his uh, three string hardtail bridges there you go I used to have strings going up through but he came out with these hardtail bridges and I changed this guitar around because I absolutely love these it adds more sustain so if you're getting into these one string leads uh, start with Thunderstruck. Start, learn that tab up and down because it's a good place to start. And then after that, learn some blues scales. You could even learn like um, Mideastern Raga scales, something I like to do in concert. When I do my, my world music Raga stuff, almost all of it is also on one string. <laughs> There's so much to this. So much to this. Once again, if you just joined us, um, I'm showing Thunderstruck one string technique. Um, this video will be archived here on Cigar Box Nation on um, Facebook.com slash Cigar Box Nation. Um, you can get the tab for Thunderstruck right here. I was having coffee this morning and I just uh, put the tab up at shanespiel.com slash thunderstruck and uh, again this is easy easy stuff you just gotta get used to the hammer-ons and pull-offs <laughs> thing is I'm playing this I'm realizing um, I play this two different ways in concert um, sometimes when my adrenaline's flowing and I feel my body I honest to God I feel my body lockstep with the rhythm I pick every other note just like I was doing here where it's whenever you pick you pick the 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 pull off and um, Pick, let go, pick, let go. In other words, you're not going. That would ruin the vibe of the whole thing. Other times when I'm playing this and I have the amp cranked, I don't even use my right hand because if the distortion is loud enough I can just go and I I always put my two fingers on uh, the strings that I'm not playing crank this up just so you can hear it and it's just a cool way to do it and sometimes if I'm goofing off and I get a strap and I can pull it off and go the whole Hendrix thing 
you know, it's all shock and jive, you know. So don't be afraid to play solos. Um, build yourself a three-string cigar box guitar with an electric pickup. Put three strings GDG on there. Turn it up on an amp and have fun with this. Learn to solo up and down on one string only. That's what I use. Trust me, if this stuff was hard, Shane Spiel wouldn't be playing it. Because I am no, I am no great player. Trust me. Um, I've just found what I call tricks and cheats. Simple things that sound great in concert. Because in all honesty, I see myself more as a songwriter than I do a, a guitarist. Um, and so the guitar solos, you know, the riffs, everything else uh, is just um, a way to deliver my songwriting to the people. So this stuff's easy, people. Try it out. Thunderstruck. It sounds awesome if you can master it. And it just takes some practice. It takes you sitting at home, getting that rhythm. Once that rhythm's in you, you got it. Practice this. Get the tab. I'll show it again. ShaneSpiel.com slash Thunderstruck. And, uh, and you can be rocking for everybody on Labor Day weekend. So thank you for watching. Thank you to our sponsor, CBGiddy.com. Hey, guys. Share this, please, 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 share this video on Facebook. Uh, when you're done, by the comments and everything, you see a button that says share. Share this on your timeline, please. It helps us get the word out about Cigar Box Nation TV. And uh, the more followers we have, the more videos we do. So share it on your Facebook. If you're new to Facebook.com slash Cigar Box Nation, make sure you subscribe. Go to our main site, CigarBoxNation.com. And then for all the parts and everything else you need, go see cbgiddy.com. I am Shane Spill.